All right, this lead code question is called linked list cycle. It says given a linked list, determine if it has a cycle in it. To represent a cycle in the given linked list, we use an integer pause, which represents the position zero indexed in the linked list where the tail connects to. If the position is negative one, then there is no cycle in the linked list. So in this example, we have a linked list that does have a cycle, so we'd return true. This one, another linked list with a cycle, so we'd also return true. And then this one has just one node, so we'd return false. And then it says follow up. Can you solve it using O of one, which is constant memory? And yes, we can. This is what we'll do in this solution. All right, the key to solving this problem is to realize that in any circle or chain or cycle, if you have one item moving twice as fast as the other one, they will eventually meet. I'll show you what I mean. Let's say we have two people. The person in red will advance two spaces while the person in blue advances only one. Let's see what'll happen. Person in red moves two, blue moves one, two, one, two, one, two, but this person still has to move one, and finally two, and one. See, they eventually meet. This works even if you start them in different places. So let's start them here. Person in red moves two, person in blue moves one. Person in red moves two, person in blue moves one, person in red moves two, and person in blue moves one. Again, they eventually meet. And that's what we're gonna to use to solve this problem. We'll have two pointers and we'll move one twice as quickly as the other one. If they ever meet, that means there is a cycle. All right, so what lead code has given us is a function called has cycle and it accepts a head. A head just represents the entire linked list. So remember the key to solving this is that we need two different pointers, one fast pointer and one slow pointer. So we'll say let fast pointer equal head and let slow pointer equal head. I mentioned earlier that we could start them anywhere, but in this case we have access to the head, so we'll just start them there. So the red will be the fast pointer and the blue will be the slow pointer. Now we need a while loop. This while loop will continue until the fast pointer ends up at the end of the linked list. Because if it reaches the end of the linked list, that means that the two pointers haven't intersected, meaning that there is no cycle. So that'll be while fast pointer doesn't equal null and fast pointer dot next doesn't equal null. All right, so we need to advance our fast pointer by two. So we'll say fast pointer equals fast pointer dot next dot next. That'll move it up to. So at this point, it'll be here. And we need to move the slow pointer by one. So slow pointer equals slow pointer dot next. Okay, so that'll be here. And after we do that, we just check if they're the same, because if they're the same, that means they've met and that means there's a cycle. So if fast pointer equals slow pointer, then we'll return true. And that'll keep going until either the pointers are the same, meaning there's a cycle, 
or until the fast pointer reaches the end of the linked list, which will mean there is no cycle. In that case, we'll just return false. All right, but let's just finish the example. So slow pointer moves one, fast pointer moves two, slow pointer moves one, fast pointer moves two, they've met. So in this case, there's a cycle and it'll return true. All right, let's run the code, see how we did. Looks good, let's submit. All right, so our solution was faster than about 56% of other JavaScript submissions. As usual, the code and written explanation are linked down below. If you like the video, please give it a like and subscribe to the channel. It helps out a lot. See you next time.